Pluto is a distant and mysterious dwarf planet that was once part of our solar system's family of planets. Recent stunning reports by leading astrophysicists Neil deGrasse Tyson and Michio Kaku have brought Pluto back into the spotlight with a shocking revelation. They suggest that this icy world is on a potential collision course with Neptune. But how could this happen, and what would be the consequences of such a massive event? Are we witnessing a rare astronomical phenomenon, or is there more to this impending cosmic collision? Join us to explore the possibilities of the Pluto-Neptune interaction. Pluto, a former planet that was downgraded to a dwarf planet due to its own orbit, remains an exciting and exploratory astronomical community. According to recent predictions by leading scientists, Pluto's orbit is dangerously close to that of Neptune. Neil deGrasse Tyson and Michio Kaku both raise a red flag about a possible dangerous collision between these two planets that could pose a serious threat to Earth. How is such an event even possible? Pluto's journey around the Sun is unlike any other planet in our solar system. It takes an amazing 248 years to complete one orbit, meaning it hasn't even made one complete revolution since its discovery in 1930. But the intrigue doesn't stop there. The path of Pluto is characterized by a very elliptical shape, which is very different from the almost circular orbits of the larger planets. What makes Pluto's orbit even more special is its inclination, which is at an angle of 17 degrees to the plane of the ecliptic. The path that Pluto follows is much steeper compared to other planets, which makes its orbit more complex. Point One of the most interesting aspects of Pluto's orbit is its intersection with Neptune's path. For about 20 years in each orbit, Pluto is actually closer to the Sun than Neptune, challenging what we might expect from their position in the solar system. This leads to a natural question. Why didn't Pluto collide with Neptune? The answer lies in the gravitational effects of other planets. The study of Pluto's orbit began shortly after its discovery. At first, astronomers struggled to understand its unique trajectory. Unlike other planets, whose orbits are relatively close to the ecliptic plane, Pluto's path was distinguished by its steep slope and elliptical shape. The mystery deepened when it was realized that the orbit of Pluto actually exceeds that of Neptune. The stability of the orbit of Pluto in the middle of these complexes testifies to the complexity of space mechanics. The three-body problem in space is figuring out how three things in space, such as Pluto, Neptune, and the Sun, move and affect each other through their gravity. It's like trying to predict where they're going to go based on where they start and how they're drawn to each other. For Pluto, this problem shows how its path, Neptune's path, and the Sun's gravity work together in a complex way. The terms Ath libration and latitude libration, along with VZK oscillation, are part of this puzzle. According to astrophysicists, alignment is what keeps all the planets in orbit. In relation to Pluto and Neptune, this term means that when Pluto crosses the orbit of Neptune, its position is at least 90 degrees away from Neptune. This spatial separation is crucial to prevent them from colliding. Latitude libration, on the other hand, refers to the vertical motion of a celestial body in its orbit. For Pluto, this means that when it is closest to Neptune or another giant planet, it will be well above their orbital plane providing an extra layer of protection against potential collisions. Another important component in this equation is the VZK oscillation, named after three scientists who study the movement of objects in space. It is about how three cosmic objects like Pluto, Neptune, and the Sun attract each other by gravity. This move affects their movement. In the case of Pluto, the VZK oscillation helps us understand why its path around the Sun is so unusual. Although Pluto's path seems to be all over the place, this oscillation helps keep it moving smoothly for long periods of time. The vibration of VZK shows that even though things in space seem wild and random, there are some patterns and rules that keep everything in order. All of these components help keep Pluto's orbit stable and ensure it doesn't collide with Neptune or get veered off course. This three-body problem will help you understand how these parts change as these objects in space attract each other. Studying it will help us learn about Pluto, our solar system, distant worlds, and their stars. Numerical simulations in the late 1980s showed that, despite these stable features, Pluto's orbit is technically chaotic 
and small deviations from the initial conditions lead to significant differences over millions of years. However, these unique features of Pluto's orbit have been found to maintain stability over incredibly long periods of time, effectively keeping chaos at bay. Recent computer tests have helped us understand how large planets like Neptune, Jupiter, and Saturn affect Pluto's path around the Sun. Neptune has a special relationship with Pluto, where for every two revolutions that Pluto makes around the Sun, Neptune makes three. This conjunction helps keep Pluto's path stable. But Neptune is not the only one who helps. Jupiter's gravity also plays a big role in keeping Pluto's orbit safe and stable, and Saturn helps a little too. These experiments show that Jupiter's gravity alone is strong enough to keep Pluto on a stable path for a very long time, even billions of years. So Neptune, Jupiter, and Saturn work together to ensure that Pluto moves safely through space without any problems. These phenomena are necessary in the context of the universe to maintain the order and predictability of the movement of spatial bodies. Without these mechanisms, the solar system as we know it would be a place of much greater chaos and unpredictability. Bodies like Pluto can collide with others or be thrown off their stable path, causing a domino effect on other celestial bodies. For Pluto, especially when we talk about its possible collision with Neptune in the future, Understanding its orbit is very important. This gives us a clearer picture of the dynamic nature of the solar system. The case of Pluto shows how even the most unstable orbits can achieve equilibrium through a complex interplay of gravitational forces and orbital mechanics. IT also demonstrates the importance of continued observation and study of these phenomena to better understand our place in the universe. Exploring the depths of space often confronts us with the unpredictable nature of celestial bodies, and Pluto's orbit is a prime example of this unpredictability. The concept of orbital chaos, which refers to the sensitive dependence of a celestial body's path on its initial conditions, is vividly illustrated in the case of Pluto. This means that even small fluctuations in the position or velocity of a dwarf planet can significantly change its long-term orbit. The use of computer simulations has been very helpful to scientists to determine the motion of Pluto in space. These simulations use complex mathematics to mimic the way Pluto and other space objects like Neptune pull on each other. By changing small details in the simulations, astronomers can see how even small adjustments can make a big difference in Pluto's direction. In the late 1980s, those simulations revealed something really interesting about Pluto's path. Although it has mechanisms like OTS and latitude libration to keep it stable, its orbit can still be quite wild and unpredictable if you start with just a small difference in Pluto's position or the speed at which it moves. Over many years, that path may look completely different. But despite all this chaos, Pluto's orbit remains stable for a very long time, like billions of years. This means that there is a certain order to Pluto's journey around the Sun, even though at first it seems to be all over the place. Predicting cosmic events, especially as they involve chaotic orbits like Pluto's, presents significant challenges. The inherent unpredictability of these systems means that long-term forecasts are often fraught with uncertainty. Although numerical simulations provide a powerful tool for understanding and predicting the future trajectories of celestial bodies, they also highlight the limits of our predictive power. These models strongly depend on the accuracy of the initial conditions and the complexity of the interactions they simulate. Any mistake or oversimplification can lead to very different results, making accurate forecasting a daunting task. Additionally, the chaotic nature of orbits like Pluto's reminds us of the ever-evolving and dynamic nature of the universe. Although we have made significant progress in our understanding of the cosmos, the case of Pluto reminds us how limited our knowledge of the universe is. Understanding the gravitational effects of the giant planets orbiting Pluto provides valuable insight into the larger dynamics of the solar system. It shows how the presence and position of each planet can have wide-ranging effects, affecting the stability and trajectory of other bodies in the system. Why are major astrophysicists only now concerned about a possible collision between Pluto and Neptune, despite complex forces trying to prevent such an event? Neil deGrasse Tyson, a distinguished astrophysicist and popularizer of astronomy, offers a unique perspective on the mysteries of our solar system, especially on the fascinating case of Pluto. Tyson, best known for his role in the reclassification of Pluto from planet to dwarf planet, 
offers insightful commentary on the evolving nature of celestial mechanics and the public's fascination with the unknown realms of space. Tyson's position on the reclassification of Pluto is based on the ever-increasing knowledge of our solar system. He sees the reclassification not as a discount, but as a necessary adjustment to our growing understanding of the many bodies that surround our sun. Tyson's approach to sky mechanics is one of constant learning and adaptation. He sees the complexity of orbits like Pluto's as a reminder of how much there is still to discover in space. The intrigue of these unknowns, especially the potential interaction between Pluto and Neptune, underscores the dynamic and unpredictable nature of our solar system.